Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bowhunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Koviak. Behind me here on the floor, we have my stuff I am transferring from my Kuyu pack that I've been hunting with all of October into my Mystery Ranch Pintler pack because I'm going to start hunting my out-of-state hunts. And I, uh, <coughs> I very well may need to hopefully be boning deer out and packing them out. So that's an internal frame pack. I've done reviews on both of these, but as I get ready to put this stuff in here, we have this right here that I bought from Mystery Ranch, and I love this. Just a little kit, Case okay, Mystery Ranch. Um, I will put a link down to it below for you. I will find it on their site, um, but this thing is awesome. I'm going to show you why, what I can do with that, because the Mystery Ranch Pintler has a lot of pockets already. You have these two pockets right here on there. You got these drop-in pockets on the side. You got slots through there. You have this main compartment back here. You have a huge hood pocket in this. Did I've done videos on this pack. I've shown it all already, and I got the hip pouch pack, but this lets me carry all of my kill kit stuff, my game bags, because again, I'm packing deer out right on the spot with this. So I got some extra stuff I need to carry. I'm going to show you. I'm going to hand the phone to my wife, Tina. She's going to film this as I show you as I pack this. So she's going to come right in here and she's going to take over and I'm going to show you here. So what I do with this is in my Kuyu, I don't take a lot of this kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you in here. Now, I also put some extras in here, but with this pack, I keep this bag in here and it fits right in the bottom of this. Very nice. So what I'm doing is I'm throwing in here. This is two game bags and a garbage bag so that I can put the game bags in a garbage bag for transport. Just keeps everything from getting bloody. As soon as I get back to the car, um, I pull that plastic bag off and I put the game bags right in the jet slide. Works perfect. So those go right in there. This is an orange vest. It's a collapsible orange vest. I put this, if I kill a deer, and I'm going to have those antlers on my pack above my head. It's a deer head and antlers. Hopefully they're that big and people will notice them. So I want to wrap this around that. So when I'm packing it out. So just a simple orange vest goes in there. My seat, this I'm putting in there. I always carry this. This is my, uh, it's a rain guard. I've done videos on this too. And I also have done it. Maybe I'll put some links in here. But I put this over my seat in my tree stand when it's raining. That way my seat is dry once it stops raining rather than being soaked for the next two days with a wet foam. So that goes in there. Toilet paper for blood trailing or anything else I need, I can put that in there. My straps here that I use for big diameter trees. If the trees are too big in diameter for me to get my sticks in my stand around, these are four extras to be able to run my sticks. And the three orange ones are for my sticks and the green one is for my stand. It lets me get around those trees that are like this. So those I can put right in there. My kill kit. Avalon knife in there, rubber gloves, and some wet wipes. Just enough stuff right there to do that with. I always carry an extra Azula with me. Right there, goes in there. Paracord in case I need to lash or do anything else. Usually the straps on the pack hold it in very well. But sometimes I gotta, I'll got i tie this to keep that head from swaying or things like that. If I take that head right off, um, it can get a little wobbly. So I always carry a little extra rope. And then I also have it if I happen to lose or forget or leave behind. If I come down in the morning and I uh, forget to grab my haul line, which I've done before, and I lose that, left it at a last stand, I have rope that I can use for the next site and that I can use to get me up there. But so I put that right in there like that too. Um, gloves, these are extras. They're just right in the bottom of my pack all the time in case my hands get cold or if my regular gloves I wear get soaked from rain or something, it just gives me another pair of gloves. I put that right in here in this one because I'm not probably going to need it. So that stuff goes in there. This is my little survival kit kind of thing. I have extra batteries, duct tape. I have another spare tab, a compass, couple lighters, some water purification tablets, just little things that I need. Um, some Motrin, that kind of stuff. Little kit that normally rides right in my, I always take it with me. In here, with this little thing, I throw that right in this little bag. This flashlight, Eagle Tac, two DC 25 L2 clicky. Um, this thing's amazing. I only use this for blood trailing. If I'm gonna be blood trailing, I'm gonna need in here for toilet paper anyway. It goes right inside of this pack. My tags, <clears throat> these are my tags for all the states I'm hunting this year and that kind of stuff. If I'm going to have to use these, I'm going to have to be in here to get everything already anyway. So those go right in there. So it becomes a perfect, well set, perfect little kill bag for everything. And that's it. I mean, realistically, this is most of, this is more than half the stuff I have. And it rides right down in there on the bottom of that pack. And takes up so very little room down there in that bottom spot 
It gives a solid platform foundation for me to stick my clothing in, my vest will go in there, my harness, everything goes in here. It is out of the way and perfectly snug right in there. So just wanted to kind of show that, that on this Mystery Ranch pack or any pack, <coughs> excuse me, that little bag right there is amazing. I mean, and I know these have been around forever. It's not like I invented this. Um, and, you know, Kuyu has them. Stone Glacier has them. You know, uh, Kafaru has them. Mystery Ranch has them. This I love. This is my first time ever using these ditty bags or stuff sack kind of things like this. And uh, I straight up love this. I used it last year when I bought this. And I tested this out when I got this pack in December. Loved it. I know, and my Kuyu one, I can transfer this right over there, and it fits right inside if I want to, too. But in this one, it is the perfect, right down there in the bottom, straight up love it. So I wanted to kind of show you guys that. So uh, if you're building a pack setup, looking for it, doesn't matter how much internal storage you really have, even though I have quite a bit on this one. One, two, three zippable pockets, a couple more pockets right in here that... And right at the bottom, they don't go all the way through. So those are long stash pockets, which I will take my neck warmer will go in there. My hat, this kind of stuff will go into here. So it's really easy to get. My tripod that I use for all my videos will go in one. So this stuff all fits right in these long stuff pockets. A lot of great options on here. A lot of nice features. But that bag, game changer for me. Just makes life easy. Now when I, kill, when I know I've shot a deer... I pull this thing out right here, just take it out of my bag, pull out what I need, get ready to roll. Um, so fantastic setup. Just thought I'd show it to you. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.